welcome back to the Torque Test Channel. There is no such thing as a cordless air hammer, or whatever you might call that, at least yet. But today's SDS competitors, which we'll be giving away all of them to you guys here, are about as close as you can get by our math. Closest in size to the generally, yeah, much smaller air hammers, and closest in price to those much less complicated air tools as well. And it gives us a chance to look at the all new brushless Bauer SDS hammer drill as well to see if that bargain tool stacks up against the comparably sized and priced options today. So we're going to see how they do in punching power on the air hammer power dyno, then compare that power versus other air hammers that we've tested and also versus a full size SDS max drill. Then with the help of Jim over at Philly Fix, give you guys an idea if more impacting beans translate into higher drilling speeds into concrete and which tool stands out there because it's not close. By simply commenting on this video and or Jim's video, if you're already subscribed to our channels, you're automatically entered to win one of these tools tested today, chosen at random this week. Whether you like it or not, okay, you're gonna be sent a tool. This is the Bauer 2144C-B, the newest brushless introduction from the Bauer line and their first one in the SDS category. It's a half inch SDS plus rotary hammer drill which is to say about as small as these get, the closest in size from Harbor Freight to the hammering tools you might find in their air hammer tool aisle. And in price, this Bauer is $90, which is quite low for cordless SDS, even at this size range. Pretty much unheard of at that price point, so we're not holding our breath that this is a powerhouse, if I'm honest. It's pretty feature rich though, hammer only mode, drill only, and hammer and drill mode, with a very convenient depth gauge with a push button action to adjust as well. With the 5 amp hour battery we'll be using, they suggest 3 amp hours and above, it's sort of a compact package, but certainly still larger than an air hammer by far. We found recently that a cordless SDS drill can be used in place of some pretty peppy air hammers, which no one was really able to quantify before that, so we were happy to see it. But that Milwaukee we tested, the SDS Max 1 and 9 16 capacity drill, is quite hefty. If you need to do some cordless braking and hammering away from an airline, that's certainly the higher effort and lower comfort route to take. We want to know, can SDS of a similar or at least closest in size do a similarly good job of, let's just say, busting a rusted hub free as an air hammer? Now in contrast to that one in 916 Milwaukee, here's the newest cordless SDS from DeWalt. It's their 12 volt Extreme 916 SDS Plus model DCH072. This model is noticeably smaller and lighter. Heck, a 12 volt STS just sounds a bit weird in principle to me. It's 3.75 pounds, which is quite a bit under the five pounds of the Bauer and close in length to a medium barrel air hammer at just 9.9 .9 inches, which is shorter than many long barrel air hammers we've tested. But a massive oversight on our part was when looking at this, thinking that the dial had three positions or a hammer only mode to enter into, which is what we're after, but no, it only clicks into two positions, drill only, and then hammer and drill, which requires some fabric cobbling using an SDS plus bit. We're gonna hack off the end like we were going to anyways, but then putting or grinding into this thing a sort of dome shape on the top so that this bit doesn't walk when it's spinning and just sort of hammers in place. And this worked pretty good, but yeah, would have included maybe the M12 model and others if we knew we were going to have to go this route. Let us know if you'd like to see more as usual. Our last model before we hop into testing is the Ryobi P222. This does have the hammer only mode we're after, but otherwise it's a pretty simple tool. Chosen for its lightweight, lightest yet at 3.5 pounds and low cost of $119, compare that to the $179 of the small DeWalt. And comparing is something Bauer does, as they say you should be comparing their brushless Bauer to the brushed pretty old model here, the Ryobi P222, for better or worse. Let's find out if better or worse than our first test is called max power. Here's the Ryobi P222 using Ryobi's high performance battery and the same domed hammer bit. Seven hundred and fourteen. This is usually where I'd say we have no idea how good that is because we've not seen any others to compare, but that is not very high. I think that's the first three digit number we've seen from anything ever. If the Bauer is supposed to compare to this, that's probably not a good sign. 
Next up, hopefully moving the needle a bit, is the DeWalt 12 volt, which will be spinning, but hopefully just hammering and sort of in place. The DeWalt, you have to loosen the handle in order to adjust the depth setting, which is kind of annoying, and the handle repositioning is also sort of clunky. One thousand one hundred and twenty two though, that's quite a bit up on the Ryobi. Not bad. Let's see how the cheapest model of the bunch works, the Bauer. I like that. The the DeWalt you have to loosen it and then pull it off. And that loosens this at the same time. This you can like keep at that length no matter what. I think that's pretty good. One thousand seven seventy. What a difference! The Bauer brings the beans, comparatively speaking, of course. Within this half inch or so cordless crowd, the Bauer seems to be a standout in hammering. Historically, the ability to dial back that power for air hammers has been a bit of a hit and miss game. The cordless SDS is pretty cut and dry and not exactly the most interesting material in the world in this type of test. So here's each model's trigger control. So again, the Bauer is a standout for, I suppose, the wrong reasons, worse trigger control. But as you can probably hear, we're talking peanuts here. Now for the best case numbers before we head off to the new SDS rank chart and compare to air hammers as well, these are the best they could muster with freshly charged batteries. Eight hundred and twenty-eight. Now for the DeWalt using its 5 amp hour 12 volt battery. 1,194, it's hard to get extra out of these tools on this type of stuff. And here's the Bauer. One thousand nine hundred fifteen. Not able to crest two thousand at the end of the day, but still way ahead in this bunch. We've designed a new ranking for SDS rotary hammer drills now, since they don't belong in the air hammer one, being more costly. They do several jobs more than just impacting, and weight has become an actual concern with these things. So here's the Milwaukee from the last episode up here, and this is your first glimpse at the sheer impacting force difference between these two categories of tools. Of course, these things don't hammer like an air hammer does. See the card at the top of your screen about how they do work. But for now, let's rank these things before we move on. So starting with the Ryobi, it gets just 7 and 83 points with the best case being weighted heavier as the most power is what we're after when you're using it as a breaker. Then 11 and 120 for the DeWalt and 18 and 191 for the Bauer. Basically a two times increase between these two models. For trigger control, it's a max minus minimum power run. That's 13.9, 22.1, and 33.3 because the Bauer had just more headroom here. Then power per inch of length you'd fit this tool in if you're not simply using it for construction outdoors. That's 7.1, 12.1 for the shortest DeWalt, but 15.9 for the more powerful Bauer. Power for weight is probably even more important for these. That's 23.7, 32, and 38.2, scoring higher than the Monster Milwaukee up here due to that weight difference. Then the price of these tools also offer a comparative advantage over that Milwaukee. Of course, this isn't the full picture. These tools do more than hammering. But when looking at just that, it's 10 points, 9.5, and 30.5 points for a function of power and price our SDS list uses here. That totals a low 144.8 then 206.7 for the DeWalt, and 326.9 for the Bauer, making the Bauer far and away the better by using all the metrics here. But what about when comparing them for drilling holes in concrete? You know, 
the way they ought to be used, those sort of metrics. Well, Jim at Philly Fix gave us a hand at testing these in some half a century old sidewalk running into his property. And here's a snapshot of what that looks like. So yeah, either more impacting beans does a really good job at busting up concrete with carbide tip drill bits, like really well, or we're just seeing luck here, but this is a pretty cut and paste showing up the performance in drilling as we saw with impacting force. Not something I would have been bold enough to assume was true. Remember, if you're subscribed to both of our channels, commenting there or here enters you to win one of the SDS drills from this video. So, at least one of these, maybe the DeWalt in there as well, seem to be capable of drilling concrete quite well. But can they be used as an air hammer in a pinch? Well, we've tested plenty of those, and the closest comparable to the performance we saw today is this, the Dynamic Power, or DP. Now, if you haven't caught a video on DP before, I can highly recommend it. And its performance is no slouch among its peers, that DP. It performed best in its class, actually. It is a short barrel air hammer though, not exactly a heavy hitter. Here's what a $15 Harbor Freight medium barrel air hammer's performance looks like versus the SDS models from today. Yeah, not looking pretty. That's going to be barely enough to separate a tie rod ball joint, much less knock out a Preston ball joint or dislodge a wheel hub in our experience. The closest in size and cost SDS drills cannot be used in place of a traditional air hammer or breaker it appears to us. Though we do wonder if there's a nice sort of middle ground model out there that offers impacting similar to the Milwaukee, but has a smaller SDS plus bit size and drilling capacity for lighter weight. Let us know if you think that exists. Till then, our hopes of an air hammer without a tether still seem to be a distant dream. Appreciate you joining us. Click subscribe to catch new episodes at least every Friday. And thanks for watching.